Welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles, and today we're visiting with Heather Shaw. She is the area nutrition agent for our area. We're going to talk about a topic that I feel like people hear more and more about, and that's mm -hmm. alpha-gal. Yeah. Unfortunately, it, it does continue to grow, um, not just Kentucky, but the whole United States is seeing a large increase in numbers. So alpha-gal syndrome is a condition that you can get and it's most notably from the Lone Star Tick. In Kentucky, that's the only vector that we've seen um, that actually causes alpha-gal syndrome. And so it has a wide range of symptomology though, right? Once you're diagnosed with alpha-gal syndrome, it's very individual um, as far as what your triggers are that might cause a reaction. Um, but it, it kind of across the board, we think about beef and pork, um, things from red meat. It's often called red meat allergy, mm -hmm. but it's more than that. Um, so if you react to that, you'll, you'll react to or could react to anything with alpha-gal. So also derivatives of, and so not just pork, but also maybe things that contain lard, like our green beans. And also not only like beef and pork, but also gelatin, which is a derivative of those things. And so um, it's an individual basis, but most everyone will, re will react just to the straight beef or pork cut of meat, but then how far that goes and what someone's triggers are and including dairy too sometimes, it's very individual. Coming up next week, actually, we're doing a webinar um, statewide. We have about 30 counties registered for the watch party. Um, and then we have over a thousand individuals that have also registered to watch this webinar at home. We're really excited to get this information out. We have a new publication we'll be sharing at this point. Um, and we're really excited to be able to help people and give them practical ways to navigate this diagnosis. They're gonna learn about what the background is, like how someone could acquire alpha-gal syndrome, um, what triggers could present in their life, um, not only dietary, but also lifestyle management, mm -hmm. um, because alpha-gal can run into the personal hygiene products because sometimes it's in our toothpaste, it's in our shampoo, it's in our lotion. Not everyone will react, but we want people to be aware of these things. It can also be in our medications. And so we're gonna share a lot of valuable information mm -hmm. about where am I becoming exposed to alpha-gal? What are my triggers? We're in prime tick season. We are gonna have two entomologists um, from UK. We're really excited to join us and talk about that side of it, um, prevention and give us lots of good tips and how to, how to never go there. And then there's also the thought um, that some people's reactions can ramp up. And so even if you have alpha-gal, you don't want more tick bites because it could really ramp up reactions. Yeah, so you're, the sensitivity can change you know, either for the better or for the worse. Over time, we're seeing really great things. Um, if you can hold those off, you may become less reactive. You may go into remission. It's not ever said to be cured, but it, you can possibly go into remission if you can keep away from the ticks. All right. Well, Heather, I appreciate you visiting with us today. We're going to visit with Amy because she's going to tell us a little bit more about the watch party here in Warren County. Thank you. Sounds great. All right. So we have Amy Lawrence, our Warren County NEP educator here. And Amy, you guys are going to host a watch party here at the Extension Office for for people to come and watch the webinar, but you're also gonna do some other things. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna incorporate uh, some alpha-gal safe food recipes in our watch party. So if you wanna come and watch the Zoom together uh, and, and hear from the experts, that's great, but we're also gonna sample these recipes. Uh, one recipe I'm excited to try is actually one of our calendar recipes this year for the NEP calendar, and it is chicken burgers. So if uh, you have Alpha Gal and you're missing those uh, those cheeseburgers or those hamburgers, uh, we're gonna make a, um, a slider chicken burger and sample that so you can get some ideas. I also have a sheet of dozens and dozens of recipes that are available on our NEP website that are alpha-gal safe too, that I will have ready to give to people so that they can have a, a resource to go to to find some safe foods that are already approved by dietitians as being alpha-gal safe. So no cost to attend. We would just ask that you would register with the QR code that is uh, gonna be shown. And if you would register by Wednesday at noon, that will give us an idea for food preparation, what to expect. I should have some other recipes there to sample besides the chicken burgers. So. Um, uh, we're looking forward to a good time Thursday at six o'clock. All right. And you know, some people, they might not feel comfortable with the technology and this watch party allows people to come and maybe meet fellow alpha gal. Yes. Um, and, and you know, having that community, I think is important. Maybe swap recipe ideas or what has worked for them. What products have they found that they might want to avoid? Um, maybe even sharing uh, provider ideas. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.